Charlie Kirk's words strike a chord deep within the hearts of those who feel suffocated by the weight of oppressive systems. His message isn't just a statement. It's a cry for those who have been silenced, a rallying call for anyone who feels pushed aside and yearns for a world that is just and fair. What a time to be alive in the most important election of our lifetime. I'm traveling the country, going to college campuses. We're organizing in the grassroots. We're talking to so many voters that know it is time for change. They know that something is wrong. They're tired of sending $200 billion overseas to Ukraine while we can't secure our southern border. They're tired of seeing our homeless vets while we prioritize foreigners that come into our country. And by the way, what an insult to the legal immigrants in this country that we allow illegals to get luxury hotels who cut in line. They know that something is wrong. And many of you waited hours and hours in line. By the way, who here was waiting in line overnight? We saw that. It was unbelievable. You're right up here, 24 hours in line. Because you know you are part of something bigger than yourself. You know that you are part of the most exciting, diverse, powerful movement in the history of this country. And this movement, this movement is not about Republican or Democrat. This movement is not about conservative or liberal. And I think you're going to see that on display in a little bit. Just maybe. This movement is about the citizens versus the oligarchs. This movement is about we the people versus the ruling class. This movement is about America versus the globalists. This movement is about all of us against them. When Kirk talks about citizens versus the oligarchs and we the people versus the ruling class, he's touching on the raw nerve of government overreach, corruption, and the creeping loss of individual freedoms. He's speaking directly to those who feel marginalized, who feel helpless as they watch a powerful elite tighten its grip. Issues like border security, the plight of homeless veterans, and the treatment of both legal and illegal immigrants aren't just talking points. They're symbols of a deeper struggle for a society that values justice and equality. Kirk's message resonates as a powerful expression of the battle against impersonal, oppressive forces. He presents a movement that's not about Republican or Democrat. It's about people, about humanity's fight against the dehumanizing forces that seek to control and homogenize. When he speaks of the most important election of our lifetime, He's highlighting a pivotal moment, a call for every individual to stand up and take responsibility for the future of their nation. His words echo the alienation and frustration that many feel in our modern world. The sentiment that something is wrong is more than just a feeling. It's a powerful response to the perceived loss of control, the erosion of individual voice and agency, the demand for change, and the rejection of the traditional political binary are cries for a new way of thinking, a new social structure that truly represents the people. In Kirk's message, there's a strong sense of belonging and purpose, especially for those who have felt left out by the current political system. He's offering not just a message, but a place in a diverse, powerful movement. It's easy to see why his words resonate with those disillusioned by the status quo. His focus on issues like border security and veterans' rights speaks directly to those who prioritize national sovereignty and social justice. By framing the struggle as a battle against corrupt elites, he's energizing those who feel unheard, those who are desperate for their voices to finally matter.